Okay. Hi. Okay. Um. So this is the Nigerian girl with acne here, and um, today I think we should talk about something that a lot of Nigerians, most especially, which is surprising because our son is like really, really, you know, intense and hot. I think that's the, the simplest English to put. And we, I think. It's not like other countries that you know, like you know, the UK that you had this in the sun for a while. Like here, you have sunny days all around the year. And you know, that's not even an excuse because even if the days is a cloudy or sunny day, UV rays still like penetrate and hit our skin. So we're going to, if it wasn't obvious, we're going to talk about sunscreen. Yeah, because sunscreen is like one, if not the most important part of like any skincare thing during the daytime. But I think it's the one that most people, especially in Nigeria, exclude totally from their skincare routine. Like you see a lot of cleansers, toners, um, serums, this, this, this. They will pack everything. But then, I don't know, they know sunscreen. And you're like... And especially if like, you know, like a lot of people, especially since uh, people in Nigeria, well, most of us are dark skinned. Oh, okay, well, not that skin. Most of us are, you know, we have melanin more than our Caucasian counterparts. So, people with, uh, with like, you know, darker skin tones, whenever you have like acne or anything, the um, scar, you, the, it's easier to get like a scar or hyperpigmentation or like a dark spot. No matter what happens, whether it's irritation, redness, acne, injury. It always leaves these horrible dark spots behind and you have like uneven skin tones and you know in Nigeria it has to be said we have a problem with colorism everybody wants to be light skin because people think that light skin people are more attractive I don't know where I got that idea from but that's like an issue so um, I feel like Let's not even look at it from that aspect that like everybody wants to be light skin. Let's just look at it from like the skin health aspect before we go to the aesthetics. Let's go to the health health part of it. Uh, UV rays like from the sun, UV rays, the violet rays, when they hit the skin, it affects the cells and reduces their elasticity. So it in increases like aging. So when you're like 40, you have so many wrinkles, crow's feet, and all that because you know it just reduces the elasticity of your skin cells, and then also in the extreme cases, it can actually lead to skin cancer when you have a lot of exposure to the sun and you don't use any sunscreen. And actually, in Nigeria, where we have, like I said before, we have this problem with colorism and everything. Everybody wants to be light skin. Everybody wants to be light skin. Everybody wants to find that cream that will bleach their skin or the cream that the cream that will make their skin darker or sorry lighter sorry um most of the time people end up going for product with hydroquinone and we know that hydroquinone is even though it's a skin lightening agent people who normally you know the truth about hydroquinone is that sometimes it's actually prescribed for hyperpigmentation like severe cases of hyperpigmentation but when a dermatologist prescribes it for you, they give you like information about it, you know, the safety, like precautions, like when you use hydroquinone, you don't use it for more than two months and you always use some UV protection because hydroquinone makes the skin more, uh, uh what was the word, more prone to sun damage, like it's, this when you use hydroquinone your skin is more liable to, for to be damaged by the sun i don't know why english is so hard for me today so that's one issue so a lot of people use oil bleaching creams they don't know what sunscreen is they've never heard of sunscreen or oh, okay even if they heard of it they don't even bother to use it so you just get this skin damage from the hydroquinone which they use probably more than the prescribed or allowed use and then sun damage and then even if we use like products that are actually like good for the skin like retin-a or like all these serums that are actually <clears throat> good for our skin that also 
increases the skin sensitivity to sun sunlight and you know increases the need for sunscreen so like sunscreen is just very important in general for like that's the health aspect you know preventing skin cancer preventing um sun damage age spots everything that the sun can do to your skin like the sun is really not your skin's friend and even like okay the aesthetics part like i said it just increases the age like it's it like increases the <laughs> the age at which your skin starts look you it's increase it just makes like skin aging like a thing like when you're 40 you start looking like a 60 year old lady like you don't want that do you so that that's what happens when you're close to the sun you don't have any protection so i think we can stop there with the scolding and let's just talk about sunscreen here in nigeria the ones i see that are available and you know basically sunscreen in general so like i said in my first video when i did like the skincare routine thing um the sunscreen that i use that i would not recommend for dark skin people but sunscreen is sunscreen okay first of all let me just start with this there are two types of sunscreen you have the mineral sunscreen and you have the um um chemical sun sunscreen so the mineral sunscreen they have like the it's almost like a physical sunscreen but it's not like a mineral sunscreen but the the ingredients in the sunscreen i think it's like zinc or titanium oxide i need to look it up i'm not sure they like block the uv rays but the chemical sunscreens they have the ingredients that like i think they absorb the uv rays and they release it as heat or something i'm not sure i can't to, i can't remember i have to read it up i think i said i need to like read it up again that we must study the methodological thing so um the one i have this neutrogena ultra share 100 plus blah 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 um this one is a mineral sunscreen and the active ingredient is um this oxysalate and all that that is like is a this is a mineral this is sorry it's, not, it's a chemical sunscreen this one i'm using right here and this one i told you is not really the best for dark skin people because you know that yeah, the cast it leaves a white cast and the white cast is really really bad very very bad so let's just talk about the ones that are here and the ones i think that are like best for the dark skin people because well, most of us in this country are dark skin so like let's talk about the spf first spf i believe that's like the level, level of protection in the sunscreen so most people will recommend or most dermatologists will recommend that the um SPF level you should be using 50 that uh, that's adequate for sun protection this 100 plus I don't know what they mean by 100 plus to be honest I just um I don't know if it's a real thing honestly Neutrogena they have shady in some of these advertisements so you, you don't you don't really believe this I think SPF 50 is fine you don't have to go for this 100 issue but no such as so like i did some digging about on the internet about there's this creator her name is aisha she did like a video on best skin and um, best um sunscreen for dark skin people and then I, I saw a video from hiram also about um best sunscreen for dark skin people. you can check that out but i think i checked like for me where i get skincare products from and also like i think jumia i think we almost always get a lot of things from jumia to see which ones of the ones we're talking about are available in nigeria or even lagos so like where i normally get my skincare products from because all these things i don't know a lot of people like import them to the country so we buy them from them so I found the people on Instagram. Their names are their name, sorry, is Buy Better. That's why I saw most of the things I showed you in the skincare routine. But the first one I think is good for dark skin people and is more accessible. You can find on the Buy Better, you can find it on Jumia. I think even if you go shop right and go to one of these even any of these stores that sell skincare stuff, you'll find it there. I think it's the one I've seen around the most. It's Neutrogena, but it's not Sniss Moose. It's um Hydro Boost, Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel 
what that gel sunscreen SPF 50 is like blue I think there should be a picture somewhere here if I can find out how to edit it like that so somewhere around <laughs> so um, that one I think is best is like a lot like way way better than way better than this because um, the white cast is like basically non-existent and it really hydrates the skin so you may decide to not use um, what's that thing called a moisturizer with it but it's your choice maybe if your skin is dry you can use moisturizer and then you can use the SPF after but that one is a good choice for people dark skin people so that to avoid the whole white cast issue but then I also checked um, Aisha's videos and on the buy better the instagram um, instagram page but the buy better instagram page i buy my stuff from she has um she also, obviously she has in georgina hydrobus but she also has um the super goop is um i think i put the picture somewhere around if i find out how to do it and uh, maybe the names in the description if i find out how to do that too so there's this super group the super group play when she tried it on her skin it was like basically transparent very it looks very you know manageable and you won't have to put makeup to hide a white cast and then there's a crave beauty i think there was also crave beauty that um was it crave yeah it was crave i think it was haram that found out the crave was it i think it was one crave beauty i saw that one on jumia i will put pictures somewhere <laughs> And um, honestly, if I'm being honest, those are the only three ones I found that don't have a white cast. There, are, I think there are other ones available, but they will have that white cast. But the ones from the ones they suggest, oh yeah, and also Black Girl, um, Black Girl sunscreen is like I'll put the picture somewhere. Yes, Black Girl sunscreen. I saw that on Die Better also, but that one is SPF. 30 i think i believe i need to confirm but i guess it's better than nothing so i put the names in the description and the pictures somewhere around so you can check them out um i think a lot of sunscreen that is the best for dark skin I, i'm not really accessible i guess maybe that's another reason why people don't really use sunscreen because you you can walk into most supermarkets and you find moisturizers and cleansers and blah blah but you won't really see sunscreen that's something i realized like when you walk into like normal supermarkets not all these luxury ones you don't really see sunscreen unless you go to like a pharmacy or the luxury supermarkets that they sell all these like foreign products so i think that's another issue oh yeah and also another thing for like sunscreen actually the ones without the white casts um um korean so skincare lines are usually are like really all the rave right now and they have like this new sunscreen you know thing that they don't, don't have any white cast at all but the problem is that i don't know how you get korean skincare from nigeria to be honest like i think it's basically impossible because people in the u.s are complaining about getting what they ordered for four months in advance talkers of here like so i don't know maybe if you have a plug you can share with us let's know and i'm sure it's very expensive that's another thing so there's another issue that you have to consider anyway so i think the long and short is that of this video is that you can do a lot of things to try and you know get good skin shiny like on our face you can get the best cleanser the best moisturizers best serums everything for your hyperpigmentation for your acne for your like anything but if you don't use sunscreen my brothers and sisters it will make matters well especially if there's somebody who like spends a lot of time in the sun for me i well maybe well, when i was to the house officer but like i don't really spend that much time in the sun but I think it's still important because you know UV rays can catch you anywhere. But surely if you're somebody that spends a lot of time in the sun, sunscreen is like really, really like a necessity. If you don't want to um see some if you wonder why 
your hyperpigmentation treatment like when you're using niacinamide or using retin-a or something and you wonder why the hyperpigmentation is not getting any better or maybe it clears and it gets worse or something like that or if your doctor prescribed hydroquinone for a while and you use it but you still have the hyperpigmentation you wonder why it's not working and my dear it's because you're not using your sunscreen the sun is still causing all that damage giving you all that blackness not that blackness is a bad thing but the bad thing is the uneven skin tone so if some parts of your skin are lighter and some parts are darker it won't look how you want it to look obviously you're still beautiful you know hyperpigmentation is not a disease it's just something that happens when the sun hits the skin or when we have scarring it's not a disease it's not an emergency it's not something you have to fix but you know i guess your image of yourself is important i know people like to say you're vain but if you don't feel like happy with the way you look it can really affect your self-worth and it can trigger some insecurities so if you have an even skin tone and you want to do something about it i feel like the first place to start before you start looking for because of course all these serums treatments and all can be really expensive but before you start gathering money to buy all these things or start thinking of which plan how you want to treat your hyperpigmentation i feel like the first thing you should consider is sunscreen to prevent further hyperpigmentation so that when you're trying to you won't be having like a push and pull effect like you push you're pushing to stop it but the sun is you know holding you back so that your treatments actually start working and i would like to appeal to everybody to please please reconsider all these bleaching things because the product the ingredients the hydroquinone they use for skin bleaching is very damaging to the skin it's not for the skin at all it can increase your chances of skin cancer it damages the skin it makes the skin thin um, and apart from that like it makes it really friable and i don't even know how to describe it like okay once once upon a time there was a lady a patient we had and she was like you know when you have to give cpr because you know they go into the cardiac arrest and then when we, you know cpr we have to really like you know get in there and do those chest compressions and then the force of her chest compression because she had bleed so much her skin was so friable from all the hydroquinone that's why giving her the chest compressions the skin was literally coming apart in our hands like the like and like as, it's not like wet paper when you put a lot of pressure on wet paper like it was literally like yeah it wasn't a good so please uh have your opinion is not the best way for people with dark skin to get rid of hyperpigmentation if you just want to bleach your skin for the aesthetics you should appreciate the skin god gave you there's nothing wrong with having dark skin if you have hyperpigmentation nobody will nobody will think you're vain for trying to correct that but I, but hydroquinone is not the way there are other products for correcting hyperpigmentation safely like i said you have the niacinamide the alpha arabitin retin-a helps with hyperpigmentation also vitamin c serum helps to brighten the skin those kind of things can help you with your hyperpigmentation you will see results as long as you use your sunscreen to prevent further pigmentation from the sun so um i hope we are well learn something about sunscreen today and i hope we all start using sunscreen from now on trying to relate to our hot nigerian sun so thanks for watching and see you later